Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh release from Miniard. As you can see that's a quite unusual kit, that's a aircraft in 135 scale which copies FL282 V6 Calibri. That's a German helicopter and that's the first aircraft release for Miniard and now we have a chance to check it closer. But first let me remind you that we are still gathering money for the new camera and you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website. And of course it is done via PayPal so it's safe and fast. So as I said before that's the first aircraft for Ukrainian manufacturer and as you can see straight away it copies quite unusual um, subject and it copies it in 135 scale, traditional scale for this manufacturer. We have this nice box art on the front and here we have some information about the kit. There are 185 parts inside and from the other side you can see renders of the assembled model and of course it is the same as what we can see on the box art. Now just give me a second to open it. That's the top opening box as you can see top part is quite flexible so be careful if you're getting it with several kits in a box. Then we have all plastic sprues packed into the same plastic bag, assembly manual is on the bottom. Of course we will check plastic sprues first and then we will move to the assembly manual. Uh, plastic bag as usual is sealed, so just give me a second to open it. And we will take a closer look at what is hidden inside and what this kit can offer us in 135 scale. There are also some sprues packed into the separate plastic bags inside of this plastic bag and they are also sealed, so just give me a second. And as usual for mini art, some plastic bags get connected together and then you just can't separate them easily. As you can see, it's just tearing out the second plastic bag. So I guess this bigger one will have to go away. Okay, more plastic bags. Just give me a second again to open this one and we will cut through. Note that the decal sheet is placed in one of the plastic bags while P fret is packed into the separate cardboard envelope and placed into the second plastic bag. Okay, maybe finally I will open at least one plastic bag and we'll check what is inside. Okay, so here is the first one. I will place this small black with decals as the last one. First I would like to check this uh, plastic frame with a uh, frame for tail part or actually that's a nose segment of this aircraft. Also here you can see tail wings which are quite small but they're molded as one piece parts. Frames, attachment points, placement is quite okay and well thought so I guess it will be easy to cut them through. Uh, next we have slightly bigger plastic frame here we have more parts for the uh, detailing of the main part of the fuselage here you can see the special legs for the landing gear and overall detailing looks nice I hope that it will be easy to separate the thin parts of the sprue of course you will have to spend some time while cleaning them and trying to get them together Next here we have the tail segment once again, that's a separate rudder and that's a separate tail segment which should be assembled out of two halves. There are no position elements, only one pin in the top angle or top corner, so you will have to be careful while, let's say, combining them together. But overall molding quality looks really fine and I think it will be easy to glue these parts together. And next we have some internal elements because it has quite detailed engine and different mechanical parts. So here you can see some of those elements. Overall molding quality once again looks fine but be careful with those tiny thin parts because it will be easy to break them and then you will have to replace them with something else. Then we have the decal sheet. This one is printed in nice quality and note that it's written that it's printed in Ukraine. Here we have even some symbols for the dashboard, what is a nice addition for such kit. And then we have transparent sprue which mainly covers different lights on this aircraft. So just carefully mask them, glue them in place and you are good to go. 
Now I'm opening the next plastic bag where we have more plastic sprues and as you can guess we have some parts for the main fuselage part and also tail segment and now just give me a second to open it okay so as I said before we have P thread packed into this separate special envelope with mini art logo just give me a second to open it and it is quite small P thread what is quite surprising here you can see it we have seat belts we have also some structure parts and this is unpainted P thread so it should be easy to get the color you need on those parts. Next we have another grey plastic sprue. Here we have main fuselage segments. As you can see they are molded with frames. Also we have separately molded hatches. And once again we will have to delete all those pins around. So be careful while working with those uh, plastic parts. Next we have two absolutely identical frames, here we have the propeller or rotor blades, I will show you only one. And also here we have the engine cylinders as well as landing gear wheels which should be assembled out of two halves, here you can see them. Of course these blades are molded as one piece parts and it will be quite tricky to place them in the right spot, but I think it will be doable for those with some experience with helicopters. And here you can see the last grey plastic frame which is dedicated to different internal and external elements. For example here you can see the lower part for the tail segment. And again I can say that molding quality looks fine as long as you apply due care during the process and do not hurry with these thin parts because it might be tricky to get them in one piece of the sprue. Next we have assembly manual. This one is typical also for mini art here, we have short list of the features for this kit. Once again I will remind you that there are 172 plastic parts, 2 clear parts and also 11 photo etched parts and decals for 4 marking options. Here you can see first marking option, then we have parts map, paints chart is given in many manufacturers designations. We have Vallejo, Mr. Cower, Humbro, Testers, Amomic and even the standard designation so it should be easy to choose the one you need. Assembly process starts from the tail segment then we continue with engine then we gradually move to the frontal section we attach everything together landing gear system propeller and here we have another versions for markings and here you can see the fourth one it is quite nice that they are printed in color so you know how to paint your uh, helicopter. Me personally I like this one, the green one because it looks quite unusual but of course the final choice will be up to you. As you can see that's a test on floating base of the Hydra Aviation Grife in 1942 and this one is already the helicopter which was on the anti-submarine ship KUJ-13 so that's quite a useful brochure and it is nice that it's printed in color so that's all for this video review I hope you enjoyed it we have quite detailed helicopter from Mini Art, and I think it is good that they decided to choose or let's say to involve themselves into another genre as well as usual, you can leave your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and you won't miss any new video review. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!